Let me just say this right now. I am a bit skeptical about college football. And the reason why I say this is because I've been looking at the EA website, right? Just to put it in perspective. And for some reason, I've been looking at this website, this, well, hold on, what do you call it? This Gridiron, this campus Gridiron notes or whatever you call it. You know that blog form that EA puts in their sports game like Madden and stuff like that. So this campus huddle as they call it for this game this time around, they showed a whole bunch of stuff as in features and gameplay mechanics and stuff like that. So therefore we could get a glimpse of what to expect with the game. And so some of the stuff that I saw already now that I've seen the whole thing, the whole list actually, I was, you know, I was hopeful, you know, for instance, the campus IQ, I have zero clue how different that is going to be comparing to Madden, even though with the campus IQ trademark, that's how, you know, EA is willing to just put some cool names and just just try to mix those cool words and ideas together and just put that as a new feature. Guaranteed knowing that this might not do much justice for instance, how Madden does it with their field sense, I guarantee Campus IQ might be the same thing, but let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Let's not jump the gun right quick. But for those of you that don't know, College Football 25, um, so far, it was looking promising. I'm not going to cap. It was looking very promising when the trailer came out like a few days ago. You know, I was super hopeful. To the point where I wanted to shed a tear, no cap, when I first watched the trailer. Afterwards, that is. But, of course, I was, you know, interested to see how they were going to play out with this game this time around. And so I looked at the website for days and days on end, right? Up until this point. And I've watched a couple of videos, not a lot, but I did watch a select couple of videos that were focusing on College Football 25 and how they thought about the features and how certain people were making theories on how the game is going to go and stuff like that. But what I have realized now that I'm looking at the EA website as we speak for a second time is that two things, as a matter of fact, that could be guaranteed. Number one, the gameplay. So they said wide open and fast paced gameplay, the wear and tear system, the pre-snap recognition, the home field advantage. Now, this sounds good on paper, right? However, the home field advantage, for instance, let, let me say this. I've heard this was a thing that used to be in college football, but then got taken away from Madden. Well, it was taken by Madden from college football a decade or so later. And I remember back in Madden 22, right? They had this supposedly new feature for them at least called Home Field Advantage, which was somewhat the same exact thing that they did before with NCAA football back when that was a thing. And so I thought to myself, why would they implement that feature if it was already working the first time a few years back, you know? Now that I've looked back at that. And so, therefore, now that it's back here again for College Football 25 this year, I also thought to myself, okay, so they already did this before in the past. Madden took the feature years later. And now here we are again in 2024, son. And they're now bringing back home field advantage in which they should have kept had this franchise stayed going, had this franchise kept on going without being discontinued, this wouldn't be a thing. But now they're bringing it back, and so I pray, I was low-key hoping that this doesn't end up similar to how Madden does the home field advantage. I'm not even sure if Madden still has this feature anymore. I have no idea, but it's safe to say that the home field advantage, I hope, is different. So basically what I'm saying is that Gameplay wise, they have got to come up with something new to the table, despite already revealing the majority of the features that will be in the game. However, I hope this isn't all of the features, and so they still have a bit more time to show us exactly what this game has in store for us soon when the game comes out, you know? And so, number two, um, the teams as in the amount of teams and colleges that were selected for this game. So as you guys know, for those of you that 
pay attention to the news as of late about this game, 134 FBS teams were selected, right? However, I saw this one video to where this guy was noticing that there were no F... There was some other type of college at school group of teams. I forgot what it was called, but I was also thinking the same thing. So aside from these FBS teams, I just hope they have high school teams like they used to and some other type of divisions as in like, you know, the conferences as a matter of fact, you know, so therefore I, I can't really say much about this because I there are so many teams to choose from. But I will say I hope they have a huge variety when it comes to the mixture between college teams and high school teams that are both official and the ones that we could potentially create and speaking of which i've heard they have this team builder thing in which i was actually hyped about you know considering that we haven't gotten this feature in so long but the thing is the fact that it was supposed to be taking place on a website of sorts unless i'm mistaken for some reason i have to download stuff in order to create something and I was like, what? And so I pray NCAA, I'm sorry, College Football 25 has some creation suite, as we call it these days in sports games, as a feature in the settings menu. I pray they do. But I have yet to see the thing in person. So I have got to see what this team builder feature looks like in action in order to believe it, if that makes sense. Okay, because just reading these details out loud alone might not do me some justice so therefore i'm gonna have to see it in person now the big spill if you guys will bars of this whole thing in this case is the ultimate team and as you guys know everyone has been having mixed feelings about ultimate team and trust me I was not alone, okay? I was one of those people who thought the exact same thing once I saw this stupid MVP bundle to where they not only put out College Football 25, but they bundled it up with Madden 25, a game that has yet to get announced until June. You know how these days Madden always gets announced or revealed, quote-unquote, in June, right? So I know some people were not you know, I know some people were like okay with this because if you guys like football that much, then cool. However, I'm talking about those dedicated gamers like myself who would rather play something authentic and fun as long as the gameplay is fun. That's what college football was for me back when NCAA, like I said, was I think NCAA 07 and NCAA 13 on the 360. I will never forget those games. I think I played 13 more than 07 from my childhood memory. However, regardless of the case, those two were some of the most fun experiences I had playing a college football game in comparison to any Madden outside of 11 and 12. Those two for me were goaded. But that's another topic for a different day, okay? But ultimate team this in particular i was not really surprised per se but like if i'm gonna be honest like let's keep it a bean ultimate team some people like myself were low-key expecting it to be in college football because let's be real here madden has taken over with this whole ultimate team you know what i mean it's like since NCAA discontinued, Madden has been continuing with this whole ultimate team thing to where now it's at a point that it's completely pay to win, at least to most people that play Madden year in and year out, right? I stopped playing Madden. Like I said, I've stopped playing Madden since 22. I cannot stomach it anymore with this boredom I had, but that's just me. However, considering that I've realized that at the time, ultimate team was a thing in college football but here's the thing the majority of the player base didn't go to ncaa just to play ultimate team unless you're one of those people that do the majority of people like myself we play the game for either road to glory or dynasty mode me personally i always play road to glory that's like my number one mode in ncaa back then so i'm more so on team road to glory okay so therefore the fact that they have this mvp bundle that is a hundred and fifty dollars which is to me deep down it's not a complete shocker i mean it's ea sports what do you expect but the fact that you're going to riddle 
some of this ultimate team stuff before we even see gameplay. I know it might sound misogynistic if that makes sense, but at the same time, let's just get this out the way. I know some people have been already considering college football 25 to be some sort of Madden reskin, right? And so here's my stance on this. I can tell this game can be somewhat different than Madden, but even then now that ultimate team is a thing especially with madden just getting their money milked like year after year after year with the ultimate team mess i can easily tell that college football 25 is going to be a mixture of both okay let me explain how it's going to be a mixture of both see you are going to have new features that haven't been seen in either so long or new features that are going to be included for the first time for college football however on the other side you are also going to see some aspects that are at least similar to madden if not being brought straight from madden into this game at least right now because we have yet to see gameplay but at the same time at the moment this is how i'm feeling when i say i am skeptical i am still hopeful that this game can be fun i just pray the gameplay is fun than madden at least in my opinion i just pray that college football delivers a next gen leap a next gen leap of gameplay atmosphere features that could make players come back for more you know what i mean so i just hope that college football 25 doesn't disappoint all the way even though i don't have any expectations because it's ea sports i'm not going to just fall for the bait even though i know someone in the comments is going to say oh viral you should have known once you saw that ultimate team is going to be a madden reskin but this time instead of just nfl license you have a college football license with tons of teams and mascots and this and that like okay i get your point okay i get it i somewhat felt the same way too deep down but at the same time it's been almost 11 years so we have yet to see what the game looks like all right let's just get that out the way right now but at least on my behalf i'm just praying that college football 25 since it's been two generations as far as the consoles because we haven't gotten ncaa we haven't gotten ncaa since xbox 360 and ps3 so i pray this game is a complete leap of next-gen gaming when it comes to college football but my dreams might be shattered they might not who knows okay that's all i can say anyways let me stop saying oh i hope i pray because i guarantee if we do see gameplay some of my prayers might not be answered but fingers crossed for right now okay if you guys are feeling sympathetic about this game as much as i am let me know down below in the comment section how you guys feel about all of this okay with all due respect so with that being said it's been viral i hope you guys enjoyed this video if so please leave a like comment and don't forget to share and subscribe turn on those notifications i'm gone